Darren, it looked like you were so close to securing what would have been a, a very good point on Tuesday. It must have been disappointing to see uh, Lafayette sneak in and get that late goal. Yeah, obviously very frustrating um, uh, after the game. Uh, you could see everybody was um, gutted and um, frustrated with themselves. I think you know, as a team, second half we um, we could see the goal early in the second half, obviously to uh, the equaliser, um, and we never really recovered. I don't think we uh, we played our game second half and. Um, it's probably the, the first time in a while that we've we've been below the standards that we've set ourselves. Um, but you've got to credit easily they they came at us, um, threw a lot of balls into the box and, and crosses and free kicks and corners. Um, and I thought that we'd, we'd weathered the storm. I thought we were going to battle out a point, uh, but unfortunately, uh, just one slip in concentration has cost us. Your introduction to National League football has been very much a busy one. You've been playing games mm -hmm. left, right, and centre. Have you enjoyed the fact that you've been thrown straight in? Yeah, it's it's sort of flown by. Um, the fact that I've played six games now um, doesn't seem like five minutes since that the, I made my debut against Cheltenham. But um, but I've loved every minute of it, and uh, I love playing games um, as much as uh, I work hard in training. I think any player will tell you they prefer to play in games. Um, so that the quicker the games roll around for me, it was the better. Um, I feel like I'm getting stronger every game, um, fitness-wise and sharpness-wise. Um, so yeah, uh, the, the fact that I've managed to get a block of games in so quickly uh, is only benefited me really. Yeah, and um, you played through all the levels, the, the top level, all through the football league. How do you find the style of football in the national league? Because often central midfielders they have to work very hard, sometimes with you know little sort of rewards at times. Yeah, I think um, the games I've played in the, the, they've they've varied each one. Um, uh, there's games where we've been dominant in. Uh, there's other games where we've, like you say, we've had to work a little bit harder off the ball. Um, but yeah, uh, there's some good quality in this league and um, some good players, some good teams. Um, but uh, you know, I look at us and, and, and see us as one of the strongest teams in the league. So uh, for me, uh, I just go about my business and um, you know, I've got a good partnership going in there now with Six and uh, we pride ourselves on, on working hard first and foremost for the team um, and then letting our, our football do the talking after. Compared to when you played football regularly in the Premier League and the Championship, is, is your style as a midfielder changed or is it still similar at this level? Um, I've probably changed a little bit over the years. I think um, in my younger days I was I was very much a box-to-box -box midfielder and um, I'd get up and down the pitch a lot more and, and sometimes maybe I was a little bit too over-enthusiastic whereas now I've, I've slowed my game, game down a little bit, um, getting the ball off the, the back four a bit more and, and sitting a little bit deeper, uh, trying to dictate play from there. Um, but trying to switch it up as well um, and again I think the, the games dictate that to you there's some games where you can't really get forward as much as you'd like there's other games where you can um, so it's just picking and choosing really so um, I think over the years yeah I've, I've, I've added to my game um, certainly um, and you're always learning that's the, the good thing about football. Tranmere Rovers on Saturday one of the certainly biggest clubs to have ever played in, in the fifth tier mm -hmm. for someone like you who's so used to playing against teams like that is it a question of not really fearing them at all. In fact, anything you, you, you're very much used to those tests. Yeah, you want to play in the big games, and um, I've been the same all through my career. That the bigger the game, uh, the more you enjoy it, really. Uh, and uh, these are the games that you remember uh, during throughout a season. Um, you look at the Cheltenham game uh, at home and a uh, full house, and, and you know the atmosphere and everything. Um, they're the games that you know, players enjoy, fans enjoy. Uh, the more the atmosphere, the you know, uh, the bigger the game. Um, so yeah, uh, very much looking forward to it. They're a strong side, obviously. Um, they'll be looking to, to bounce back after a, a recent little blip. So it's set up to be a, a big game for us, but um, but one that we're you know we're going to go flying into because we uh, we're chomping at the bit now, especially after Tuesday's defeat.